Woodworking means making dust and fine airborne dust can be bad for your health. So I've built a few air cleaners over the years. But Dreo has approached me about making a video about their air purifier. That's this unit here. And they're also the sponsor of this video. So I'll measure how well this works and compare it to this Dyson Purify Cool fan, which costs about four times as much and is also an air cleaner. And also against the, this box fan with just a filter tape to it, which is the cheapest air cleaning solution that I know of. All of these are basically just a fan that sucks air through a filter. On the Drio, the filter is on the bottom. And this is the actual filter itself. And then above that is the fan unit. There's the rotor that's spinning right there. And it blows the air out the top. And actually that's really important because that stirs up the air in the room so that it gets all the air in the room. On my first air cleaner, I had the air coming out through the filter and it was very slow moving. And so it didn't stir up the room and it only cleared the air around the air cleaner, which is relatively useless. I'll be testing this air purifier in this room, which is 15 square meters, about 165 square feet. And I'll be monitoring the particle counts in the air with uh, this particle counter, this particle counter, and my Dillis air quality monitor, which is periodically being photographed by this camera module attached to my Raspberry Pi computer. But the air in here is clean, so first I need to make it dirty. Just three drops of mineral oil on this hot plate and heating it up to make smoke. Then spreading that smoke with an oscillating fan. So I just gave it a few minutes to spread that evenly through the room. And this bar graph shows the dirt in the air as a function of time. That's spread evenly now so I can turn the fan off again. So now let's turn this on. And it's set to level 3. And with the fan off now I'm relying on a drill to circulate the air through the room and get everything. And I'll just leave the room and close the door. I haven't set foot in that room for over an hour but I can monitor it remotely and in about 40 minutes time it got it from this dirty to cleaner than it was when I started. And that was set to level 3. It also has a turbo level but that level is a fair bit louder. Next up the Dyson Purifier Cool and using the same method again to get the air dirty. As before, I used this oscillating fan to spread the air pollution around. Now let's turn on the Dyson. And uh, oh, it's showing poor air quality pretty quickly. Here's my particle counts over time. The uh, blue line is the Drio and the yellow line is the Dyson. The Drio cleared it a bit faster than the Dyson. Uh, both of these are pretty much on exponential decay. Um, in fact, looking at this on a log scale, where each division here is a factor of 10 decrease in particle counts, you can see the slope on the Drio is quite a bit uh, more than on the Dyson. In fact, um, the Drio can cut the particle counts in half every 6.8 minutes, whereas the Dyson took 9.2 minutes to cut it in half. That's uh, 1.36 times longer. But the Dyson is kind of loud. So let's try the Drio in turbo mode to get the same kind of volume. The purple line is Drio in turbo mode and look at that on a log scale. It can cut the particle counts in half every 4.6 minutes which is twice as fast as the Dyson. Next up, box fan with a filter. This is definitely louder than the other solutions. Box fan is the green line. It is about 20% slower than the Drio. I also tested my homemade air cleaner and uh, this one horsepower dust collector and in terms of performance this one was able to clear half the dust particles in 3.3 minutes even though the whole thing looks rather dusty itself. Second fastest was the Drio in turbo mode at 4.6 minutes. Third was this one at 4.9 minutes. Then this one in regular mode at 6.8 minutes. Then the box fan and filter at 7.9 minutes and the slowest was the Dyson at 9.2 minutes. But the Dyson was the slowest is no surprise to me because with their air multiplier technology only a fraction of the air that this fan blows actually goes through the base. The rest of the air just kind of flows past here being accelerated by jets of air that come out here. I was surprised that this unit outperformed the box fan because they both just use a furnace filter and this one has a much smaller weaker fan 
But then I experimented with uh, swapping the filters on these. And if I swap the filters, then this one was better than this one. So it's all in the filter. This actually is a filter I've had for, I don't know, six or seven years. And I've cleaned it out a few times, but it still filters out the dust better than this brand new uh, Noma filter that I got. This one was really cheap. I also tried these old style furnace filters, but they were completely ineffective at filtering out small particles. And the dust collector really is not a practical air cleaner solution because it's freaking loud. It's this loud, but... But seeing that I run it from time to time anyways when I'm using the table saw, it's nice to know that it does a decent job of cleaning the air too. I opened this door on the side of the drill and I noticed this funny set of holes and I recognized that. That's the set of openings on the ZPHO2 air quality sensors. They're relatively inexpensive. And this is why I've been using one of those sensors with my uh, monitoring setup here too. The fancy Dyson has a whole bunch of air quality monitoring things including VOC and NO2 and different particle sizes. Um, so much fancier than that. But both of these have an auto air cleaner mode where they'll turn on if the air gets dirty. So I tested that as well and here's the graph. The Drio of course was able to reduce their particle count much faster and when it got to about here it slowed down to essentially idling where the uh, blower is always running but at a very low speed. The Dyson was of course slower and when it got to about this level it went down to a lower speed so you can see a change in the slope and it took it to about the same final level which is somewhere around 200-300 on this scale whereas both of those can take it down to about 10. So that level is deemed to be adequate by both of those. I also retested using smoke from smoldering wood shavings because that makes really fine particles that hang in the air for days. Think wildfire smoke drifting across the continent. And the decay in particle counts for those followed exactly the same trajectory. So same performance with the finer wood smoke. The Dyson is definitely the coolest air purifier that I tried, but I think being a fan and being cool is its main functionality. It also has the ability to graph air quality over time, which is a cool feature, but strictly as an air purifier, it's the slowest and by far the most expensive. I was surprised by how well this homemade air cleaner did, but uh, that is mostly a function of this filter, and this is a uh, filtrate filter. And when I put that behind the box fan, it did about as well as the homemade one. So that's uh, definitely a good cheap solution. Although this filtrate filter cost twice as much as the cheap one that I had on the box fan for my tests. For its size and noise level, the uh, Drio did really well. The only thing that outperformed it on turbo mode is my one horsepower dust collector, but that's not really a fair comparison. And that's a really good thing because Drio sponsored this video and I'd hate to conclude this video saying that it underperforms. But with all this testing, I've also been running a particle counter in my workshop just monitoring what makes it go up and it's not so much the table saw or sanding or planing. What really makes the particle counts go up is using a glue gun or my soldering iron or if I accidentally burn something on the table saw. So if you're a modern digital maker and you use a 3D printer, well that's really kind of a CNC glue gun and if you solder that's also a lot of particles. And a laser cutter, well that's burning stuff. So if you're one of those digital maker kind of people, really consider getting some kind of air purifier or air cleaning solution. And you can get one of these drill air purifiers off of Amazon or off of their website. They're not too expensive, they're not too noisy, and with the auto mode you don't have to remember to turn it on and off. And they also sponsored this video.